What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Planet Coaster the Alpha Park. Yes, this episode is going to be a little different as you could probably already tell because we're doing something that I've actually said I've never I would never do on my channel and that is a time lapse. Yes, we're going to do a short little time lapse to showcase this new roller coaster that's going in in the Alpha Park. Yes, we needed to get another roller coaster because well, I was kind of bored and I kind of wanted to go ahead and build another coaster. This is actually only my second coaster that I've ever built in this game. And personally, I think it comes out pretty nicely. We'll go ahead and ride it at the end of the episode. Uh, guys, let me know with a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you like this kind of new format. And uh, of course, in the comments, we're gonna have to name this coaster. So go ahead and throw out your names. Uh, this new coaster is on the uh, right side of the park behind the star wheel, as you can see. Uh, and this coaster, I went for more of a fast, quicker, more loopy and more flippy coaster, if those are words to describe coasters, which I think they are. Um, yes, we have a total of five inversions on this coaster, uh, maybe four and a half. I'm not sure how you count that first overbanked curve, but we'll go ahead and ride this one at the end of the episode and uh, you guys can count them for yourselves. This coaster is definitely different than the Jamafino because the Jamafino was big, loopy, smooth. This one is definitely going for more of a twist and turn kind of thing. Uh, we needed to build the entrance building, of course, and I spent quite a bit of time doing this because I was actually very unfamiliar with the other styles of scenery in this game so far. I've mostly built with the modern render versions of things, and uh, this ended up being a separate part of the park. You'll see that later. So I kind of wanted to change the theming around just a little bit. Uh, we went through several iterations of this building until I finally settled on this modern kind of take on a warehouse kind of feel. So I hope you guys like this one, and we'll get right into this. And here it is. Yes, the final completed project. Yes, this is our new coaster. And uh, you can kind of see what I was talking about earlier. This is a whole separate section of the park. I've got this little loop coming over the pathway just to signify that this is definitely the way to this new coaster. We have a sign on this warehouse looking building uh, that signifies, again, this is a coaster. And uh, yeah, this is the warehouse. I really like how certain parts of this thing came out and other parts I don't really like that much. Uh, namely these, I needed to put these in here because these little, um, I don't know what you'd even call these, trim pieces? didn't connect up at the edge, so they ne they needed something to cover it. And that was pretty much the only thing that I could find. Other than that, though, I really enjoy how this looks. I love this wood against this brick, and how these windows kind of make this all look very modern. And, of course, the patented skylights that I've been going, <laughs> going through and uh, placing ever since that building over there. Uh, the only thing about these is that they don't actually connect up all the way, so there are little gaps in here, so that's a little annoying, but nothing to be ashamed of, I guess. Um, yeah, we have little windows down here. Those are the single windows that are put to by to make a four window. And uh, yeah, this is, this is the coaster. You can kind of see. I have yet to finish putting the trees in here, but you can see how this coaster is way more intense than the other one. And apparently, people are really liking it. Uh, it seems like there's a decent line inside of that building for the most part. Let's see if I can sneak in here. Yeah, there's a pretty decent line for this coaster. I'm not sure if it's just because it's a brand new coaster or if it's because uh, the, the there's some sort of hidden rating system that we don't know about. And this one is beating the other coaster. But yeah, this, this is so cool in here. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't spend too much time on the interior of this building, mostly because there's not a terraform tool. So, like, there's uh, actually some terrain clipping through the building over here that I just didn't want to go through the hassle of trying to build out um, and around the path system. So, that's that. I kind of like over here, if you're walking up and you're in line, you can see all of the people coming off the ride and how much they either enjoyed or hated it. So you can kind of judge for yourself as you are waiting in line for this thing. And uh, you guys all want to see it. So actually, let's go ahead and ride it. 
I will go ahead and put us in, you know what? Andrew Kruger's view, sure. Let's see what he's seeing. So this first little drop kind of takes you over here to this chain lift hill. It's kind of a long travel to get there because I needed a uh, way to kind of pull this chain hill all the way over to the left side of the park. Well, from this angle, uh, just so most of it um, can fit in this little hill space. So it's kind of a really nice little space back here to put a ride. All right, so this first hill this little drop off the chain hill is kind of just like a little teaser because it throws you into a bit of a corkscrew into the main drop. I really enjoy this part. Uh, I guess it's not technically a corkscrew. It's more of just a really... Eh, it's almost... Yeah, it's pretty much a corkscrew. I kind of lied. Uh, and then it goes into this major overbanking curve. This could be a little smoother now that I look at it. But here we go. It's an inversion there. That is kind of an inversion up into this zero G roll. Uh, this was a predetermined piece of track. This curve is kind of tight, but it seems to work. Um, and then we go up here into a big corkscrew. This was all custom made in here. Really cool. Um, into this major kind of, kind of a helix thing. And then into a loop. And I think from there, it just goes into another bit of a twist. Uh, more of a curved section through a bunch of supports, so that's kind of cool. And then you go right here next to that support and back to the station. So yeah, there we go. Uh, my second attempt at a roller coaster. I don't really know what that um, brick wall right there is doing. I should actually delete that because it's just kind of floating there. Huh. Um, but yeah, that's that's the coaster, guys. Let me know what you think of this episode, and let me know what we should name this thing. And uh, we'll go from there in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave me a thumbs up if you liked this video. Thumbs down if you disliked it. And name this coaster. And until next time, I will see you back here in the Alpha Park.